sure I remember the nerves being high, real high. Everybody was on edge. We didn't know who was going to be cueing the music. We didn't know who was going to be taking the pictures. And oddly enough, Javon ended up doing it all. He came behind stage. He styled us. Then after that, he ran out. He took pictures. He was cueing the music. He was seating people. He was just the ultimate Jamaican that day. He was doing all kind of stuff. So to watch where he's come from and, and, and to see how much he's grown as a designer is, is almost breathtaking. Like to see some of the pieces now, the pieces now are amazing. He's putting out stuff that I'm seeing in magazines a month later. Like it's crazy. Like I seen a magazine I think two weeks ago and he had already did a piece that they're just now putting out. I mean it was it was crazy to see. And it's not like he's putting out stuff that's not quality. Like everything that he's putting out is, is something that could be sold in store. You know what I mean? Something that somebody's gonna appreciate. And so I'm loving to see the growth. And I still don't feel like he's reached the ceiling yet, you know? Right, still growing up fashion-wise, um, Javon Terrence, man, this, this kid had a vision from the time we'd been like nine years old. I mean, drawing shoes, um, it's always been a shoe thing with us. It's it's a love, it's a passion. So when we see shoes on people's feet, and then you take that love from shoes, and you got a sketchbook, eating dinner at Red Lobster, you know what I'm saying? Hey man, what are you drawing? Oh, you know, I don't want to draw shoes no more. I want to do fashion. So this is nine and 10 years old. So that's what caught my eye. But then when he became this fashion designer, I'm away at college and he's like, Yo, cuz, I need you to be in this this fashion show. Fashion show? Like, what? I never modeled in my life. I'm 5'3". I'm like, who's going to put me in a show? Had no kind, no kind of walking skill, so he, he, we had no clue how to walk, no clue how to talk to people about fashion. We just knew we wanted to build this brand, and I was supportive from day one. I mean, 9 and 10, he... I gotta build. I gotta. I gotta make these shoes. I gotta make these clothes. So, from nine to ten to thirty and thirty-one years old, and to see how far he's came is like, man, it's it's crazy, and it's so real. So I, I'm I'm proud of him, and I know he's got a long way to go, but man, he's there if you ask me. He's got it. So, right, Javon Terrence, we all know him as a fashion designer, but I know this dude as a complete clown. Everybody knows that we're we're silly guys when we get us all together. Funny story, um, it's our birthday weekend. We go to Cleveland. I pick him up, um, like, you know, we're going to the Jay-Z concert. He comes out, he has a lumberjack jacket on, some Vans, and skinny jeans. I said, no way you're not getting in the car. This, this is 06. This is 06, mind you, he's wearing a lumberjack jacket. And I'm thinking in the back of my mind, who wears this? This is something that you buy at Kmart. Who wears this to a, a fashion, I mean, not to a fashion show, but to a concert. So we, we drive to the concert the whole way in the car. I'm thinking, man, you, you sure you don't want to go home and change? No, man, I'm good. I'm good. You sure? Because I'm not feeling your outfit. And like, you know, we're going to be honest with each, other, with, with each other and tell each other, man, I don't like your outfit. So we get to the concert. We're in the nosebleeds at the queue for this Jay-Z concert. Um, all of a sudden, we hear this, this Jay-Z music come out. They pan the, the camera on Jay-Z. He dressed just like Javon. I'm losing it in the stands and the nosebleeds. The, the people in the stands like, yo, you dressed just like Jay-Z. And I'm like, he has the eye for fashion. So from that day on, I never doubted him. I never questioned how he's dressed the models, how he's dressed himself, because I knew it was all from the expression. And even if it was something that I may not have liked the world was gonna accept one day, one one outfit at a time. So the guy has a a, a vision for fashion. Not only um, men's wear, women's wear. I've been I've even seen little kids in leather jackets and cut up jeans and boots. And I'm saying, man, they're just just like Javon Terrence now, not Jay Z. So in the back of my mind, that always sticks with me. And, now I'm, I, I say it all the time, like I call him on the phone, Javon, what you wearing? So 
it's it's a funny thing, but now it's it's a trend that everybody's catching on, not just in Lorraine, Ohio, um, from Paris to Columbus, Ohio. You know, it's Javon Terrence, and he's nothing to laugh at. It's all